Okay, I'm going to try this again, Scopers. For those who are joining or for those who watched the replay, this is Deborah Taylor. I'm an author and co-founder of the Writers Incorn International. Today, I want to come and talk to you for a brief moment and give you a prophetic teaching on answering the question, Why do we need writing prophets? Why do we need writing prophets? I wonder if you've ever asked yourself that question. Maybe you even never even thought about it. Maybe it's not something of concern to you. But the fact is, there are writing prophets, and there are many, m many apostolic and prophetic writing prophets that are in our midst even as I speak. So I'm coming and I'm going to give you three reasons why we need writing prophets. The first reason is because the prophet in general brings prosperity and success. The word of God says, believe in the Lord your God and you will be able to stand firm. Believe in his prophets and you will succeed. And this can be found in 2 Chronicles 20.20. 20. So the first reason why we need writing pro prophets is because they bring prosperity and success. Prophets in general, if you believe them, will help you to succeed. They will help you to succeed. The second reason is because they provide restraint. Did you ever think about that? They provide restraint. The word of God in Proverbs 29, 18 says, Where there is no prophecy, the people cast off restraint. But happy, blessed, fortunate are those who keep the law. Again, I repeat, where there is no prophecy, the people cast off restraint. But happy, blessed, fortunate are those who keep the law, according to Proverbs 29, 18. That's the second reason why. The prophetic realm is very important, and it still exists today. Contrary to some people who do not believe in prophets or apostolic, apostles in general they are still here and if there were no prophets in the earth the people would cast off restraint that means they will do whatever they wanted to they would just go bonkers unfortunately they are doing it now but the prophetic person the prophetic writer in general does provide some type of restraint The third reason is because prophets or prophetic people, prophetic writers in general, they become God's mouthpiece. They say what he says. They speak what he says. They write what they hear. They write what they see. Surely, the Lord does nothing unless he reveals his secret counsel to his servants, the prophets. According to Amos 3, verse 7. And this is so true. I know for me, when I first began writing prophetically, when I first began writing prophetically, I could tell when I hit the bullseye with the enemy. The enemy's plans were thwarted because then the intercessors began to rise up and they began to pray and they began to intercede. And they began to ask for God's mercy. So what the enemy had originally attempted to do was lessened. And in some cases, it can totally be eliminated. But if God did not show his servants, the prophets, what was coming, they wouldn't know. So it's very important that as a writing prophet, you get your word out there. You get the message out there. You release it to the nations. You release it to whoever your sphere of influence, whoever God tells you to release it to, because it is so important. 
when I began as a, a watchman in the church in my hometown here in, in Memphis, not my hometown, but here in Memphis, when I began to uh, release what God had shown me, I would write it down. I would write it down and I would give it to the pastor. And it was up to him to determine whether or not he wanted to release it or whether or not it was valid. I just allowed him to do whatever. But then as God began to shift me into a new direction and a new level, things changed. And then I um, moved to another platform and I was just very obedient to what God was doing. And so that's how I came about writing the scribal watchman. Because as a watchman, as a watchman of the house, I would write what I heard. I would write what I see or saw. And it was very important to helping offset and throw out the plans of the enemy, especially in that church. And also, if you are in your home, you you would um, ne not necessarily write it and give it to anyone in your home, but you would write it in a journal and you would, would begin to intercede for your family. So just to review, the first reason why we need writing prophets is because they bring prosperity and success the second reason is because they provide restraint and the third reason is because they serve as God's mouthpiece they are God's mouthpiece God is the author and we are his inkhorn this is how we came about our um, ministry the writer's inkhorn because we are God's inkhorn. We are his mouthpiece to the nations and to our sphere of influence. Note, a prophet or apostolic person, apostle, teacher, evangelist, pastor is not above any other believer. But they, it is simply a gift given by Holy Spirit. Any gift, any gift, any gift, I will say again, including what is given to the prophet, can be used properly or abused. Whatever the case, always ask God for discernment. Just to reset, my name is Deborah Taylor. I'm an author and co-founder of the Writers Inc. International. I want to welcome you to our prophetic teaching I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. And for those who are interested in learning more about your gift or your call as a writing prophet, we invite you to join us in January for our Scribal Academy. We invite you to join us in January for our Scribal Academy. It's going to be an exciting time. I'm going to show you how to leverage technology. I'm going to show you some tools and some te techniques and some tips of the trade, I'm going to, you know, just go to bit.ly forward slash writing profit. It is so important that we begin to mobilize a scribal army of profits in this hour. Be blessed, guys. We love you here at the Writers Inc. International, and we hope to see you soon.